Welcome everybody to another edition of the ESL India Premiership 2018. Summer season, Masters League going on. The tension is rising because the land finale is drawing closer by each day. Now, first of all, generic introductions. I'm your host, Vagish Godslayer Bhan. Uh, this is my co-analyst, co-host, Zera Angela Gonzalez. Hi. Hi, how are you? How do you do? I'm good, I'm good. How are you, how's it, how's it going? Good, good. Nice, good. nice. Fine, nice. great. <laughs> all right. Well, all this fun and frolic has been brought to you by Omen, by HP, HyperX and Intel and presented to you by Northern Gaming and ESL India. Now, before we start with the thicker things here, we have a game of uh, Clash Royale lined up for you guys. We have yeah. a game of Counter-Strike Global Offensive lined up for you guys. We have Dota 2 ending the day today for today's stream. So, couple of things. A, you see that bell icon there? Press it. That way you will never, ever, ever, ever be able to miss notifications from us. And also while you're at it, press the subscribe button because, well, that helps. And moving on, um, my social media head uh, has informed me endless number of times that he's sick and tired of typing why I wear shades. <laughs> so, I have made, I've, I, I've decided I'll make it a practice every time I come on screen um, for the benefit of people. Each day when I begin the stream, I'll tell you why I'm wearing shades. I have a problem in my eye. I cannot take in light in order to not mess up my eye more. Hence, I wear shades. Now, since I've done that you disclaimer... You have a special bell icon for that also. Hash why Wagish is wearing Yeah, I mean, I have yeah. zero idea. Dude, I need to understand. This is the contrast between uh, people abroad and people in India. People abroad read everything before which has happened before in the chat, to come to a conclusion. Here people form a conclusion before reading a chat. Oh, aisa kyu hai? Oh, aisa kyu? 15 minutes later, oh, aisa kyu hai? So it's like that. But it's still fun. It's still fun to make yeah. fun sometimes. Oh, did I say that? Oops. All right. Now, moving on. Like I said, we have a game of Clash Royale lined up for you guys. Uh, so we have Mrin Moy and Mrin Lakar having a showdown against Prashant P.P. Pandey. Let's first of all take a look at Mrin Moy. Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, that's Marin Moy Marin Lakar. He has been, a, I wouldn't say consistent player because back when uh, the Premiership was still in its nascent stages, this guy was doing pretty well. But considering the fact that the, uh, that the competition has risen tremendously yeah. when it comes to Clash Royale, one can't expect to be at the top all the time. There are going to be other fish trying to vie for the uh, top spot. This time around, it's Beast. Yes. Beast is kicking ass. And chewing gum, and right now he's all out of gum. So he's just kicking ass. And Rin, talking about Rin in general, I mean, this player, as of now, you said he was on the top in 2016. He had a bit of struggle in 2017. But in 2018, as of now, he sits eighth on the board. He's taken two wins for himself, three losses. But I also like that he's one of the players who's playing a very old school deck. He likes to mm. play the Valkyrie quite a bit. And uh, that is also one of my favorite cards. And uh, he's, she's also one of the strongest cards in the game. So I'm hoping to see whether she, he continues to play with the old school decks or he continues to, you know, try out something new coming into this matchup against Prashant. Yeah, indeed. I, I'm also, like, to add a little bit of joke here, I mean, pretty much uh, the Valkyrie exists because they are very influenced by Thor Ragnarok. Okay, that joke did not go well. My stand-up career just ended before it even began. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Mrin Moy Mrin Lakar there. Let's, let's have a look at the uh, opposition here, Prashant P.P. Pandey. Alrighty then, Prashant PP Pandey. Pandeji, Namaskar, agar aap dekh rahe Alright, so Prashant. Angie, what do you have to say about Pandeji? Well, Prashant is as of now sitting sixth on the board and he's also had about, he's doing better of course. He's got three wins to his name and two losses. This player likes to, he loves to play the tomb, the lava is one of his favorite cards, the balloon also one of his favorite. Pekka, more played as a defensive card, the giant also in the pool and he also likes to play the two prints, the dark and the normal prints. So if he fares to go with the same kind of lineup against Marin who likes to play the golem, the dark witch, the Pekka, 
the Goblin Barrel, the Tesla. I think Prashant has a higher chance. But if Brin has understood Prashant's gameplay, then we would see maybe Brin taking a game or two from him. And uh, talking about their wins and where they stand, we can see the trophies. I mean, Brin is sitting at 4,000 while Prashant is sitting at 4,500. It's a very big gap, actually. Yeah, that's, 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 that's uh, the, in terms of the highest trophies attained. True. I mean, that's a thousand long gap there. Yeah. In fact, the number of wins also surpass uh, Marin Moy's, Marin, uh, Marin Moy's uh, wins yeah. there when it comes to PP Pandey. Both their cards also, uh, in terms of their favorite cards, uh, Bandit for Marin and Golem for Prashant PP Pandey. I think the Golem, people just put it because uh, they want to get it banned out so they don't have to play up against it. I mean, I think... Yeah, people start playing mind games as a favorite like card that. only. You know? They yeah. put like random favorite cards and then they want them to get banned out so that they always have like good cards. See, a giant getting banned out by Marin. A very good band though, Pekka. coming in there from uh, Marine, much needed because Prashant does like to play the Giant quite a bit. And uh, Prashant banning out that Pekka because he knows that uh, basically the Pekka counters the Giant. So if you're going to just make sure that the Giant is not going to be played, you may as well remove the Pekka because destroying a Pekka in the, any kind of scenario is very difficult. And you got to invest a lot to kind of counter him, so why waste your time when you can just get him out of the pool completely? Indeed, indeed. It's going to be a lot of fun uh, seeing these two guys have a go against each other. Also, while that reminds me, um, apparently, Angie, now we've I had a word with production today. Okay. Earlier, before today's segment began. And I've been informed that since uh, yesterday we began the entire question answer. Yeah, that's going very well for us. It, 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 was, it was fun to know what people are thinking about. And it's fun -er if you answer them. It brings a lot of solidarity. It brings you closer True. to them. And as ESL India Premiership, which is India's largest e-sporting uh, tournament, open league tournament, I believe it's a great step forward. And so, henceforth, we will have some time cut out before the game and after the game That's to address brilliant. questions. We yeah. will definitely try and see and get as many questions as we can so that you guys don't feel left out just on the chat. Let's get some studio banter rolling in. So we will have the question answers soon enough. But for now, let's head into the game. Gotham Virk, Holic Virk, all ready. Phew. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back casting today. This is another exciting match of Clash Royale between Minmoy Lakar and Prashant PP Pandey. We've seen both these players plenty of times playing, but this is the first time they're playing against each other. These guys are well-seasoned veterans of the ESL India Premiership. And we see finally something that we rarely see. We th see three musketeers sitting in the Brin's deck there. So it's going to be quite exciting to see I don't think, uh, I think he's running pretty much the same deck that I like to run. So I, he most probably has an elixir collector somewhere also. So he's going to be holding on to that. It's nice to see that Prashant has uh, a rocket in his arsenal to defend against, uh, actually destroy the elixir collector, which is uh, it's fairly decent counter actually. But uh, at six elixir, both of them kind of cancel each other out. Here comes a big push from Prashant. Golem has been revealed. Uh, that's a big unit. He'll need to respond to the big push coming on the right-hand side. And very well defended. The baby dragon with his splash damage takes care of uh, the minion horde. Which now leaves the golem on the left completely undefended. And here comes the three musketeers. Rocket is an option which will be used. And boom. Boom goes the rocket. Uh, golem will be uncontested. He has... Uh, uh, the goblin gang there to stop that, uh, which he does use almost immediately. Uh, on the right hand side, we saw the royal guards uh, making quick work of the one lone musketeer. However, plenty of damage done on the right hand side already. Uh, and same on the bottom left from Rin. So, fairly uh, contested, Darlene. Uh, Marin now has the elixir collector. He knows what his opponent also has. He knows that his opponent has a missile. But will he use the missile on the Elixir Collector or will he save it for the three musketeers? Which ideally should be the case. And remember, if Mrin decides to put two musketeers on the left and if they're too close to the tower, it will spell doom for the tower and for the, uh, two musketeers which will be on the other side. The baby dragon, well placed. And look at that pull. Wow, so close. Connects anyways. 
gets the death damage done and here comes the rocket should be coming in right about now very well placed two musketeers taken on and the uh, the tower on the left bottom left will be going down fairly soon now brin has had the uncontested uh, elixir collector which is what's working for him right now uh, there's a minion horde around the baby dragon is available he's holding on to it right now but instead uses uh, a nado there very well defended however win losing the uh, no he still survives only 10 seconds left on the clock and win absolutely has nothing to win this game this is going to be first quick game this is going to be gg right now 126 health left on the tower and there's nothing he can do good game well played it seems like prashant had everything under control there had the right answers for the three musketeers and took advantage of the fact as such so now the big question comes here could he have defended uh, the 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 golem uh with the the three musketeers he could not have done that he could have put uh, the minion horde there could not have done that either because missile at the end would have died anyways and um, uh, prashant actually did end up using the log he he used it once yeah so uh, quite interesting first match between the two uh, this is a best of 5 i would like to remind everyone so let's quickly get into game two of this best of five. Remember, we have a special announcement. We have an exciting match of Counter-Strike, which will be starting after this best of five. So we're hoping to start that right at seven, not a second prior to that. So big match of Counter-Strike today between uh, Pakistan team Portal and Indian team Entity. Entity is not having a great luck for the last two matches. However, I will not go too much in detail. Thank you, players, for waiting for me to finish talking about Counter-Strike. Back to Clash Royale. Both the peop both the uh, both the players actually holding on to the cards for quite some time. Finally get bored and they're like, hey, let's bring that down. Uh, Prashant has the uh, same deck. He's not switched anything at all. We can clearly see that. Rin has switched around. He's uh, He has a bandit. He has a fireball. He has a lot of AoE clearing, actually. So I'm wondering what... I think he's going to clear a lot of decks and uh, clear a lot of cards with the AoE and pretty much drop uh, Bridge Spam the rest of the units that he has, which is the Knight and uh, the, the Ram, as we can see. So, here we go. Bandit completely ignoring the first hit by the Knight there. And evenly trading out. Very good. Very well done. And a big reveal by PP now. The Golem is on the field. Rin this time has a good counter for the Golem. He has the Inferno Dragon. Nice damage being done on that tower. The, the Knight actually pulled away from the tower because of the sheer size of that Golem. So here comes... Here is what Prashant needs to take care of these things. Okay, now he actually... You know, if you are in trouble, just drop a rocket. That's the answer that Prashant brings. He's just like, hey, you know, you have something that might counter my unit. I'm just going to rocket it down. Um, a lot of units knocking at his door. Decides to take care of the Royal Guards, which instead actually take care of his knight very quickly. This tower is a goner, by the way. And uh, the this this is looking like a bad news day for Mrin. I think Mrin's going to actually lose this game too as well fairly quickly. That is 55 seconds left on the clock and he needs to close this game and somehow come out victorious. Prashant has a log, he has the nado, bunches the unit together and look at the night splash damage, kills everything in sight. Good trade there, by the way. That knight single hand he took out like 9 or 10 elixir all together. Rin, uh, and he's seeding the fate of Rin there and Rin sadly will not be able to close his game. This is game 2, most likely going in favour of Prashant. 2-0 will be the score and I don't see much happening. I'm going to stay quiet and ponder in my thoughts on what happened, what went wrong. Prashant just had the right answer for everything. He has the rocket to kind of take care of any wild problems that he has. Finally then for a dragon, will be able to lock on, but no, too fast. The slowest unit in the game is too fast for the Inferno Dragon. Just able to out-kite him. The amount of armor that this guy is wearing is just slowing him down too much. So game three is what we are going to be looking at now in this best of five. Prashant already in the lead with the double the score. Or actually, it's not even double the score because anything you multiply with zero still ends up with zero. So plus two is what he has. 
because you can't do anything with zero, by the way. You can't multiply it, you can't divide it. This answer will always come for a zero. Um, few tips for Bryn Moy Laka there. Uh, maybe just kind of slow, slow down a bit. And uh, what production tells me is uh, play a bit more cheaper deck because he understands Prashant seems to be pushing out the golem a lot lately. So maybe if he does bridge spam, cheaper decks, maybe he can push in the opposite direction. But however, that Nado and Baby Dragon is just so deadly, there's nothing can be done. So let's jump into game three now of this best of five. And uh, here comes the la best of five. Third game. Both the guys putting down the elixir collector. Uh, however, Prashant has poison. But if he drops that poison, that means he's also invested a lot into this push. Continues to hold on to it. Will wait. And finally, Prashant has the wheel. This gives opportunity for Mrin to now start pushing hard on the left-hand side. He's dropped everything in his arsenal. And Prashant now has to be able to defend this, which he's defending really well, by the way. Distracted by the miner, he's looking, he's changed direction. However, he still managed to survive the tower. Look at that tower. Imagine, he put down the elixir collector, he's put down the poison, and still able to defend. By only losing 1500 HP, I would say this worked out pretty well for Prashant. So, here comes another elixir collector under the effect of poison. Poison? somehow manages to damage a machine, which is a uh, fairly weird concept all in all. So, poison able to poison the machine and Marin going for his three musketeers build. Prashant now does not have a rocket this time to defend against this push. So, he'll have to let his golem kind of hold on to this. And Golem taking a lot of damage. Wow! Prashant actually puts down his set of three musketeers. This is bad news. Because now these guys are going to be bringing a lot of DPS. And they'll be eating that tower so quickly. A lot of distraction being put down. Uh, a zap being used also. The three musketeers somehow still survive. One survives. And will be closing this game. One minute left. Double elixir time has now begun. And uh, now is the only time Brin can make anything happen. But I am certain he's not going to be able to close this game. Because Golem itself is such a tanky unit. He'll stop any push. He'll eat any push you throw at him. Uh, Prashant now trying to focus on the right-hand side. The poison is available. Dropped on instantly. Very well poisoned. Uh, those minion horde quickly going down to the poison. You know, poison, you put it on the ground. Quite the gassy gr uh, poison that kills the flying units as well. Uh, and I think this is going to be a quick GG here. The Musketeers could even close the game in a three crown victory and I think that's going to be the case. This is three crown Rin loses game three of this best of three. This is quick 3-0 guys. And I think even these guys might be excited about the, uh, the Counter-Strike match which is going to be coming up after this. Which is going to be between Indian team entity and team from Pakistan. Portal Esports. And uh, that's it from us. We have plenty of time to kill, actually, because it's only 6.29. Or if I got my calculation right with that uh, two-minute delay. Right, 6 6.33 is the time right now. So we have plenty of time to kill. So we're going to push it back to the studio who can do some Q&As and some breakdown of this game. Thank you so much for tuning in for Clash Royale. And let's wait for the exciting match of Counter-Strike coming up in about... 15, 20 minutes. Goodbye. <coughs> Welcome, everybody, back to the studio segment of the ESL India Premiership 2018 Summer Season Masters League. What we just witnessed was so unlike Marin, was so unlike Marin, I do not know what to say like the last time i saw him play 
he lost uh, 3 nil again yeah it was sutikshan beast only i think if i'm not wrong yeah. was it sutikshan beast uh i'll have to last uh, la- I, i think yeah last um, run played sutikshan beast me and gautam were calling were talking yeah, about it yeah i think it. you'd done that match with gautam yeah, yeah and it was weird it seems as if like mrin just loses the will to fight after upon a time no i think uh, mrin has always been the kind of player who likes to really uh, play first and uh, in the recent times the problem has become is first of all the cards have really changed you don't really have the same decks that you saw people play in 2016 and 2017 i mean clash itself as a game has kind of evolved so much in the past 6 months not even yeah. going long they've got the dark prince they've got so many new cards talking about this matchup in general i mean pp saw the best opening for himself he didn't really see that he saw that the giant and pekka were completely banned out and that's where he kind of went like okay you know what you given me the opening to play my best card and that is the golem so in the first game we saw that pp did play his best card to uh, mrin and then mrin really didn't have an answer to the golem he did have the aggressive push he did have the battle ram to kind of go ahead and you know go hit that tower but there was nothing to hold defense and that's why he kind of took the fall because he really didn't make sure how he's going to counter that golem he never really i think expected prashant to play the golem mm. and in the second game we saw that he made sure that he had a counter for it mrin did pick up the inferno dragon to make sure that even if the golem reached his tower he would have an answer for it but by then pp had already understood that brin by now has understood he's going to have this counter so he kept the rocket ready so that is you know each card each game there is always this one point if you miss that one point you're going to lose it up and that basically is what happened to brin in the second game and we talk about the third game we look very closely at it brin made sure that he had the damage coming out but he mm. dropped in the three musketeers which was a good option for him but pp played it even better this is just i mean it's not that brin is uh, not understanding gameplay he's trying to do his best but pp just being a little ahead over there he kind of took the golem and the three musketeers so what does mrin counter does he counter the golem does he manage the three musketeers or does he push and that is where you know mrin took the fall and i think he's just not used to this fast gameplay coming in from all these new players because they are been playing so much they were already played like seven eight games they have understood almost everybody's play style and i think mrin has just not got in enough in his bag to kind of go ahead there and be like you know i have a counter for every card and when we talk about his previous games also he plays very different decks compared to what's really played in today's meta and i think the reason behind that is even though i have played the game also around the same time as him we started playing in 2016 2017 even as a player myself i really play the old school deck which is you know you have a valkyrie you have a balloon you have the baby dragon which is more of a defensive than more of an aggressive play style and i think nowadays the cards have changed so much that he's just finding it hard to kind of you know come back stronger with every game but uh, i mean putting him in place he is a fantastic player and he is the winner of the 2060 so nothing taken away from him he is a brilliant player and i hope that you know he kind of comes back much stronger in the next match up all righty then well well that's the breakdown for today's is uh, clash royale game i'm informed that we have some interesting questions lined up so we'll take them right about now let's start with the first question let's see what we have in store next year se mario contra rakho <laughs> na who is this karn zera buddy trust me okay um let me let me let me give a brief insight about esports here considering it's the app time i have i i i believe the fact that you have started following esports pretty recently if you realize something called super smash bros already exists yeah. mario is a part of that and uh, it's not just mario in fact uh, if you realize contra came up with a new playstation edition if i'm not wrong i think it was playstation or pc so um See, buddy, Karan, Zara, games evolved. Next year, say Mario, Karan, uh, Mario, Contra, Rakna. So, mere hath mein nahi hai. I don't own ESL. Yeah. I don't own Nordwin. But I'll definitely put your word across. But take it from me, buddy. Not happening. Super Smash Bros. Evo CEO to CEO. There, there's there's a tournament called CEO Fighting Games, and all everything uh, happens there. So, sure, there. If you want to participate, go. You can play Mario there, buddy. Mario Kart happens there. A uh, lot of stuff happens there. Contra can, really can't be added that much because it's not really a PVP game. So there would nothing. Yeah, I mean it's a co-op we, game against yeah. bots. I mean. It's like me asking somebody randomly. Okay, first of all, I don't want to demean you here, but it's like me asking literally, "Hey, chal, buddy, chal, Max Payne khelte hain, usko esports banate." You can't make Max Payne esports. No, you can't do that. Uh, what? Vagish marriage date. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, okay, I have zero idea. <laughs> I actually have zero idea myself so maybe once when I get the dates I might share it with you guys if you guys be nice 
Don't be naughty and I'll share the dates. Well, I think, I think, I think, yeah. Do we have more questions, production? All right, we have uh, we have completed our set of uh, these two questions here yeah. post uh, Clash Royale. Very excited about the upcoming game, though. I mean, Counter Strike oh, Global thank Offensive. Thank God! Is, thank uh, God! I'm actually pretty excited about the upcoming game. Yeah. Like you're also picking up from Anuj Bhutani. Pretty excited about the upcoming marriage date. I'm like, no, wow! I'm As if Kunal getting married wasn't enough for ESL India. But we will take a short break here. On the other side, we have a very bombastic CS:GO match lined up. This is going to literally, literally blow your minds off and I'm not intending any kinds of puns here. It's an entity gaming versus sportly sports e-sports match. It's a literally India versus Pakistan game happening. So don't go anywhere. Stick around, subscribe, and press the bell icon in the meantime because we're going to be back 